Hi everyone, welcome to healthiermath.com and today we'll be doing question 21 which we're going to graph this equation. So the graph equation we need the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So to find the y-intercept we need to equal equal x to 0. So we're going to take this equation and we're going to plug in 0 for x. Then after that, we're going to find y. So first, plug in 0 for x. It's 2y, so negative 5 times 0 plus 2y equals 10. Since we're multiplying a number times 0, this would just be 0. So now you're left with 2y equals 10. Divide on both sides. This becomes 1. And then do to the other side. So now you're left with y equals 5. So your y-intercept point is at 0, 5. So that's your y-intercept point. Okay, so now we have our y-intercept. Now we're going to find our x-intercept. So to find our x-intercept, we're going to plug in 0 for y. So we're going to plug in 0 where y is. So we're going to have negative 5x plus 2 times 0 equals 10. So now we're going to rewrite this as negative 5x. 0 times the number is 0, so that we're not going to have anything else there. We're going to have it to equal to 10. So then we're going to divide by negative 5 on both sides. This is going to get cancelled out, so we're going to be left with x equal to negative 2. So, our x-intercept is negative 2, 0. And using these two points, you can graph, you graph the two points and you connect their dots and that will be your graph of this line. Okay, so we're going to graph using these two intercepts. So first, let's draw our table. So, this is our y-intercept and this is our x-intercept. So we can have one, so we have our y, and then we're going to have our x do the same the other side. I don't want to do that. So now we're going to graph our y-intersect point. So it's at 0, 5. So x is 0, so we're going to start here, and then we're going to go up 5, which is here. So this is our y-intercept. As you see, it crosses the y-axis. Now x-intercept is at negative 2, 0. So we're going to go to negative 2. And since it's at 0, we're not going to move up or down. So this would be our x-intercept. As you can see, it crosses x. And then finally now, you connect these two dots, and this is the graph of your line.